and welcome to Hobbit Houses of America. I'm your host, Mary Kate, and I am an actor and avid Lord of the Rings enthusiast, as well as a lover of travel. Today, we are at a Hobbit house in Russellville, Arkansas. Now, this house doesn't look like much from the outside, but as soon as you step inside, you are transported into a world of fantasy. We're here in Russellville, Arkansas, which is probably not a place you would come to unless you were Come on in. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look. Wow. This looks like a real hobbit kitchen. Except with a fridge. <laughs> oh, a really nice fridge. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's for a habit. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, should we go in to the big mm. door? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling emotional. Also, he said this door is 200 pounds. This is my dream. Wow. I want, I want to live here. I want to make a place like this. Oh, and don't worry. Harry's here too. <laughs> wow. Look who's proud of. This is so awesome. Oh, we've got so many beds in here to keep up. Wow. Wow. Oh, look. H.G. Wells has been here. Oh, this is... This is a comfy bed, Jerry. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, just like in the house. <laughs> I am in Hobbiton in Arkansas. This is such a nice table. This is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> That's just how many. This is incredible. Yeah, this is really cool. I feel like the pictures on the Airbnb listing don't do it justice. This is like even cooler than I imagined. Look at this. Yeah. This is like hand carved wood. Oh my oh. gosh. This is so cool. Space for your entire uh, party that's going to steal the treasure from Smelk on this couch. <laughs> Look at that! I thought that bedroom was the good one, but it's this one! And you can write your letters and wax seal them. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> Aww. It's the Shire. It's Mordor. It's dead marshes. Yeah. This is the coolest. I didn't even know this room was in here. I was totally satisfied. <laughs> but there is still another beautiful bedroom. And look at this hand carved door. I mean, it's amazing. Unbelievable. 
This Hobbit house is a little different than other ones I'll visit because all of it is actually inside. If you were to look at it from the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell it's a Hobbit house at all. But that doesn't take away from how absolutely transported you are once you're inside. This Hobbit House's Airbnb page bills it as fantasy meets luxury, which is exactly what it is. It'll cost you about $340 a night to stay here, and it sleeps up to eight people. It was so comfortable. From the giant couch, to the incredible bed, to the shower, which was my absolute dream shower, this place was cushy. We weren't there long enough to cook a meal, but the kitchen had everything you'd need if you did want to cook a feast fit for 12 dwarves. Also, since it's in the basement of the house, it truly feels like you're in a hole in the ground. The master bedroom has no windows, so it was super dark in there, and we had some of the best sleep of our recent lives. Some of the Airbnb reviews mention that you can hear the family above, which is true, but I was so delighted by everything else to be very bothered by that. The other thing I loved about this particular Hobbit house was the level of detail. There are so many hidden nods to the movies everywhere you look, and the owner called me to walk me through some of the more interesting facts about the place. For instance, these incredible hand-carved doors came from a log cabin that was around before the Civil War. This pail in the well is actually one of the original wooden nails from the log cabin. The artist carved out the well around it so as to keep it a part of the doors. They used 112 paintbrushes to color these doors, and all of the colors you see are actually stains or dye, not paint. Isn't it incredible? Also, there are two mice and a hummingbird hidden in these hand-carved wooden panels. See if you find all three. I didn't, but Sean says he did. This amazing dragon door pole is made from an early 1800s toilet pole and an early 1900s school bell. The owner studied the bag end door in the movies to make this one as much of an exact replica as he could, from the brick arrangement to the wooden doorknob that is painted to look metal. It was truly astounding, and I felt transported. I only wish I could have stayed here longer. This is exactly the sort of thing I wish I could do to my house. <laughs> Maybe someday. I absolutely loved visiting this Hobbit house, so if you think you would like to make a stop here, check out the description for the links to book your own stay. And let me know where you think I should go next time on my tour of Hobbit Houses of America.